Hey guys, Milk Cookies and Games here. Welcome to another episode um, of our Gates of Hell Gym Editor tutorial series. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to look at the Environments tab um, or Skyboxes. Um, before we do that, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of a tip. Uh, I'm not sure if I've explained this already, but uh, it doesn't matter. So as you can see, these trenches have the terrain clipping through. So to get rid of that, you want to go into F3 mode. Go control S, so save. Give it whatever name you want. Then click start and finish. And there you go, that fixes the problem with the terrain clipping through the trenches. Sweet, so let's move on to the environments tab, which uh, is the F6 key. Um, or you can go through, if you're in F3 mode, go F9. You can go through here. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere here. There it is, environments. Click the three dots to expand it, and you're in the environments tab. All right. So as you can see, um, these two here are mine, so they're my custom skyboxes. This one and this one are the game or vanilla game, and obviously YouTube is is mine as well. And these also come with the game. Now with this, you can create your own skyboxes. You just uh, can go right click, add, and give it whatever name you want. Um, so you can go YouTube slash and it'll make the uh, directory. And you can start from scratch. Um, but what I like to do, and what I'm pretty sure most people like to do, is use one that's already available. For example, if we come to USA, point to Hawk, and we do the morning. Let's say we really like this. We want to modify, but we don't want to modify the vanilla one. Otherwise, it will change the... Uh, settings in the game or the vanilla one right so if you go add go copy and then you can just move it so let's move it into the youtube folder youtube slash d-day and help if i spelt youtube properly Now you can see it's put it into the YouTube D-Day folder morning. Right, and then from here, you can simply do all your changes. So, direction of the shadows and I would say the positioning of the sun. And it does do it in real time. Um... I don't mess around too much with all this. Um, I did get a question in my previous video and I did answer it in the comments below about how to make, change your water. Um, so if you come down here to see your ocean mode and settings, you can change your ocean. So let's try and make it look like what I was I had in the video. Add a bit more foam. It's all about just messing around and what you want to achieve with your outcome. Cool. And then you can obviously uh, enable thunder. If we come back up here, there's rain, so weather. You, you can, uh, with the FX here, you can go rain. That'll add rain. Haze, so you can set the altitude of the fog. Uh, wind direction. Um, 
one. There's a lot, a lot of options in here. So what I advise you guys to do is literally just jump in the game and have a play. Get all your ambient colors for the lighting. Um, so with the weather here, you can change different sounds. If we just minimize that ocean tab, you got your thunder and then just click a sound. So usually it'll be in world. Thunder. And that is, let's turn that off. <laughs> That's hurting my eyes a bit. <laughs> uh, what does that do? Yeah, right. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. But yeah, there you go. There's the thunder. I suppose that's supposed to be lightning. So you could probably change it to every 15. I think I would say that's 15 seconds. Go zero there. So what if that's like five and then ten? I'm not sure. I don't play around a lot with these settings, but um, I'd say that's between five and ten seconds. Anywhere between there, it'll do. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, what else I'll show you guys is how to change environments in real time. So if you're saying you're playing a mission, it's going from morning and then let's just try and find a, what does that look like? Cool. Let's use that one. So let's copy again. We'll put it in the YouTube slash. E day. So let's put it back to morning and come to the triggers tab. And let's call this environment. Let's do a delay ten seconds. It should be in scene actually. There it is. So we just got to grab the name that we want. It was day underscore clear. So I think if I remember correctly, you've got to grab the directory of it. So the entire thing. And you've got to put it in here. So what we can do is we can use the fade command and do eight seconds. You want to turn it on, so that should work. Wait three seconds. And then copy and paste the fade command and then turn it off. Let's see if I've got that the right way around. So if we go start. Oh, we have to add a delay. Yeah, so it's changed instantly. That's all right. Well, you did see a change, so. <laughs> well, let's get, let's get it right so it looks nice. <laughs> right, let's give that one a go. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. 
But um, you, you get the the idea of it. <laughs> yep. So it starts to fade in. There's a 10 second delay before the environment will change. There you go. Completely changed. So from raining to the clear. Now, I don't know why you can still hear the rain going. That might be a bit of a bug with the game. I'm not sure, but uh, you guys get the idea um, with A, how the environments work, B, how to change the environments within real time during mission. So that's how you do it. Um, I hope this video made sense. I hope you got something out of it. Um, very quick ish video um, just to show you how environments work, different settings. I just what I'd say is uh, I'd advise you guys just to jump in, play around yourself, and work out what you like and um, and how you want to achieve your skybox for your mission or environment. So, but yeah, apart from that, guys, hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Off now.